There are now more than 7,000 people who have joined in a class action lawsuit against the Navy for contaminating the water with fuel at Red Hill. This is nearly two years after the spill, and families say they're still dealing with health issues. And their attorney says that'll be the crux of the trial in the coming months. Here's Manola Morales. The case is now about the extent of the harm. Attorney Christina Bear represents 7,000 clients, and she estimates that there's 500 more who have different attorneys. While the Navy has admitted responsibility for the spill, Bear says the Navy needs to take that further. The government knew that the water was contaminated and didn't tell people to stop using the water. So the government has not admitted its failure to warn people. She adds that the government is also not acknowledging how much harm was done to the families who she says are still suffering from all types of ailments, among them the Dietz family who still live on base. That's extremely frustrating. It's frustrating to see your kids suffer as well um, and to see your kids have that questioning, you know, if their water is safe. Dietz says she and her husband are still suffering from rashes. The kids are dealing with asthma and migraines. Even their dog Rocket is sick. He's been diagnosed with heart issues. Um, he's right on the verge of entering heart failure, so he's on medications. Dietz will be one of six families who will take part in the first trial, which will be held in March. Bear says it's known as the Bellwether trial, and the outcome will give an indication on how the rest of the lawsuits will be decided. We believe that the judge is going to find that our clients are, in fact, still sick from their exposure, that they have been very traumatized by their experience and that they're entitled to significant compensation going forward. Bear says the compensation will be determined by the court. She adds that the families also want accountability. And they want change. They want to make sure that this never happens again. And the only way that they can do that is for the government to accept responsibility. The deadline to file a lawsuit is November 20th. We reached out to the Navy and a spokesman says they do not discuss matters that are currently under litigation. Manolo Morales, KHOM2 News, working for Hawaii.